wow it is just such a blast out here right now there are so many incredible plants coming up it's super super exciting this is one of like 50 little patches of comfrey that are coming up right now um, I love 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 comfrey I was just telling a friend about comfrey the other day um, because they were telling me a story about how there's so much comfrey in their garden right now they realized it's invasive and taking over and they need to get it out and um, I assured them that it's a very good idea to grow a comfrey patch on the outskirts of your garden because they can very easily take over huge huge patches um, but the cool thing is if you find the perfect spot for them they can take over and they're so so super functional uh, multifunctional it makes an amazing mulch so you can actually chop and drop uh, the term is chop and drop comfrey and put it around in your gardens you can put it under your fruit trees it, you can um, put it right into your compost. You could put it as a layer in a raised bed. You just don't want to put the whole plant as in the root if you're doing something like that because then it will take over that raised bed or um, under your fruit tree and that sort of thing. But some people actually do will plant comfrey right next to and near fruit trees so that they can come over a few times per season and chop and drop right under that fruit tree and give back to that fruit tree, giving that mineral um, rich goodness from the comfrey. I also love keeping comfrey around for injuries, for wounds, um, for all sorts of different helpful skin healing things like that. And it's a wonder. I also use comfrey in my drawing salve recipe. And then I actually, once upon a time, uh, you can use you can use comfrey as a poultice, meaning if you chew it up or you can crush it up if you prefer not to do that. Um, I like to just go ahead and chew it up and then you put that herb that you've chewed up right directly on the ailment, whatever it is. I had tripped when I was harvesting violets one time. I had tripped on a small stump that had all these splintery sections coming out and a really big chunk of wood, like I'm talking, it was, a, it was about an inch long, huge chunk of wood got up into my ankle and stuck and it was actually stuck for about 10 to 12 days believe it or not it was very 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 painful and I put a comfrey poultice on that every single day for that 10 to 12 days and it one day just I took the thing off and the wood came right the wood came out of my ankle it was just i took the comfrey poultice off that morning and the whole thing just kind of like slid out of my ankle and that was um that was a really incredibly powerful healing experience for me so i swear by comfrey highly highly recommend dedicating an area of your garden or uh excuse me right outside of your garden actually to plant this beautiful plant